Welcome everyone to yet another Tuesday News Day. And this time around, we might actually have exciting news. And we are also on a hot date, me and Sinzar, because it's just me and him. So this is going to be the best episode ever. I am super stoked. The one-on-one -on -one episodes are always the best. They are. They are, right? Because like too many people, you know, too many hands. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. It's, it's the Kurosama episode in Dream Abandoned Us. How's yeah, he? oh my god, can you imagine? Like, Dream is the biggest Type-0 fan. I think he's literally the biggest Type-0 fan on all, the, like, on this server, easy. But he has I never... Think, I, I think you mean the only Type-0 fan. <laughs> yeah, Demos actually had the same idea in chat. But he has never played Type-0. That's the best thing. Like, I, Or actually, I think that's a bit false i think he said once he played like the first mission or some shit i'm not sure but yeah it counts like he hasn't really played it he, he told me that his big love for type zero is because like ace was one of his first seven stars or something like that so it came from there well that makes sense there's actually a few units that i really like even though i didn't play the source game for that for that exact reason because i used them early on in brave exvius yeah yeah no I, I definitely recognize that unfortunately i do think i have played every game we've ever had a collab with um, but yeah, I, or, I mean, I, I definitely have favorite units from games I don't like just because they carried me, you know, <laughs> through early, I, I think like Final Fantasy 15 is such a great example. Cause like, I really didn't enjoy Final Fantasy 15 that much, honestly, but Noctis literally carried me on his strong muscular back, like for a full year <laughs> of old school FFB. So I love him for, since he was strong. He was very strong, actually. All right, so um, Kurasame week, but I think, Sinzar, we need to talk about the most important change this week, obviously. The Vermilion flag update? Uh, no, no, okay, no. I was actually thinking about the fucking shard dungeon that finally dropped. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that. I'd, I'd forgotten that existed. Yeah, you, it's like nothing you care about. Fucking Mega Whale already have EX3 of all units. Mm-hmm. No, this is going to give me um, my Tifa EX3 and her card, which is amazing. Oof. It's going to take me the it's going to take me an entire the entire two weeks. She's exactly 70, 70 away, but she is going to be ready. Wow, that's actually pretty cool, to be honest. Um, I am nowhere close. I'm getting EX2 for both my Tifa and Sephiroth in this, and like a ton of more units. I, I don't even think I can get EX2 for everyone I want, but like Ling is in there. No, sorry, not Ling. Ling is already X2. Luis. Um, yeah, a couple more. Cyan, obviously. Let's see. Let's see how many I can squeeze in. I mean, it's only a six-unit party slot, right? Uh, five. Oh, it's five. Oh, my God, it's even worse. <laughs> it's even worse. And two of the slots are already uh, completely locked. Damn it. Okay. Uh, interesting, interesting. But it's good that we got it. I am a bit happy when... That, that Dream actually was right in his absolute cynicism where he said that, yeah, you know, it's going to end end up being in the middle of a cow, meaning it's going to be entirely worthless for most people in getting EX levels to EX2, for instance. Well, you can use the, the shard step up to get like Ling and Louise shards. And you could, for example, just use one of the tokens on like Ling or Louise for 20 shards plus six days next week to get 30 more. So that's the equivalent of one extra copy if you were only one away. So it could help. True, true. You can go just really hard on that last day trying to cap as much as you can. True, true. But it is like most most people might be lacking like 50. Although, yeah, like Sky, for instance, there you're screwed. But Ling and Louise, is, you, you could do it. You could do it. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right, but but I you know I, I'm not gonna be mad. I'm gonna be happy because I've been asking for this for such a long time, and I really need to bump a couple of units to EX2, um, especially Tifa and Sephiroth. They get such a power spike already at EX2, so I really want that, and I want their LBs on turn one. All right, yeah, but for, sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say for me, um, you know, uh, the one slot is for Tifa, but I'm gonna use the other four slots pretty much for all global exclusive units. Yeah, because um, they seem to be the ones that get all the love these days, and Clash of Wills is just, you know, the morale stuff. So like, I'm gonna be putting um, like Lang. Uh, I pulled Noppy. I'm gonna be putting her in the banner to get her as high as I can. I'm probably gonna put Cacteria to try yeah. to get her to EX to get EX three, so she can be like my permanent Clash of Wills breaker when I need a dedicated breaker. 
that that's going to be like my plan. Those are some big brain plays, actually. I think Acteria is also a great choice just because she is so powerful in the unit and has great breaks, so she can sit in Clash of Wills. But yeah, I, I think that's a solid strategy, really. Like EX levels are super important for global exclusive units, um, especially those that you will be bringing to Clash of Wills. So I think if you have Louise and Ling, for instance, or even if you have Bulwark and Kresnik, I guess, you should be, and, and Sky, these units you should be aiming to get as high as possible. Even if it means you might not be able to pick them up this round, you should still run the Shard Dungeon anyway to just like keep them in the loop, I guess. But yeah, so the banner. Let's talk about the banner instead of old units. You said it already. It's the Kurasame banner. The Ice Reaper Kurasame. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Like maybe the weebs in the chat are going to correct me now. Yeah, he's, um, he's you know... Uh, in my opinion, boring, just like Cyan. But then again, you know, Sephiroth and Tifa, you, you, could say, you could say the same thing. They're all just boring. They yeah. do what they do. They, they do what they do effectively. It's just not very interesting. They use their LB, hit the boss, the end. That's that's the entire play style. Right. And, and he is a super limit burst unit. So that's like uh, comparison with Cyan seems very apt. I think like they are also mirrors, right? Like Krasame is going to be stronger because we think he's going to have more passives than cyan but otherwise yeah is he hybrid no he's not he's he's um you know we don't know for sure but like the speculation is just like neovision's faisalus we think that during the design process he was going to be hybrid and his kit and stmr and tmr was designed with that in mind that the last minute they decided no we realized hybrids are simply not good in brave expius we're making him a pure class and he's only pure physical. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I was thinking like his STMR, for instance, that gives attack and magic 70. It also gives a flat attack and magic by 400. So I was thinking, yeah, this would make sense if, you know, like Ace or Realm got an NVA and they could use the same buff, but they can't. Like we are actually getting three physical units on this banner. I'm going to get to the other two soon. Um, but since yeah, I like, do you... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Like, like his kit even, his... um. His Neovision's kit, he's got 200% magic passive, 200% magic true double hand, and these do absolutely oh. nothing at all. Um, like, he was very clearly designed from the start as a hybrid unit, and they, they changed directions at the last minute. Yeah, they probably realized, oh, wait, nobody uses hybrids. <laughs> and then they changed direction. Yeah. I, that's a sh I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I actually enjoy the hybrid unit type, and I think it's a shame that we don't really have like a lot of content to use them in. I, I think a GLEX unit could be a hybrid because Clash of Wills doesn't matter. You could be a hybrid in Clash of Wills. That that's that's okay. Um Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. We're not getting that, I guess. So do you have Kurasame on, on JP? I do not. I, I didn't pull over him and I have not off banner. Like I have science, so I have a unit that does the same thing, you know, different okay. element, but so I'm 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 familiar with the playstyle and all, but um I do not have Kurosame. I have yeah. not gotten him. And he, he definitely seems um, very similar to, to like, not a carbon copy, I guess, because, like, some of these abilities Cyan doesn't have. But I'm assuming when people say he's Ice Cyan, they mean that, yeah, he's well, an SLB unit and you hit the boss really hard with your LB once every third turn. Yeah, like, like he's got chains the same way as Cyan technically has chains, but they yeah. do, like, 2% two, 2 damage compared to the LB turn. So it's, like... Right. Does it really matter? <laughs> exactly. But he does have them. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, and they are nice flavor there. They are nice for when you're doing, I don't know, raids or stuff like that where you actually want the chain. I don't know why, but you might. Uh, do, yeah. do uh, Does Kurasame start with a full LB or something like that? Does he have something like that? Uh, in JP, he starts with a full LB at EX2. It's one of his EX2 buffs that we don't know if Global is going to give us or not. Right. But he does start at OLB. And also the SLBs, when they charge, just universal to every SLB unit, that also auto-fills it to max no matter where you are yeah, currently exactly. on the yeah. page. Once you hit the SLB charge turn, you're going to get your LB. Yes. All right. But yeah, so I guess not much to say. It, it is Ice Cyan, or I guess Cyan yeah. is maybe Earth Kurasame, since Kurasame is probably going to do more damage, is what we think. And just, just to clarify for, for listeners, although we are being a little harsh to Kurasame, he is still very potent at his one role, which is an ice finisher. Like, he is going to hit 
very, very hard as a finisher ice damage. So he is he is good at what he does. We're just not happy that it's so one dimensional and so limited. Yeah, very good clarification. And and, and just again to add, he is going to do more damage than Cyan. He might not reach, like, I don't know how it is in JP, but he might not reach Sephiroth Tifa levels of burst. But of course, they can't do that on ice, so... Yes, exactly. All right, all right. And then we have two NVAs. We actually have the one of the oldest units in the universe. It's actually Queen. And she is an SLB unit. I did not know NVAs could be SLB units. Oh, yeah, that's 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 very common going forward. Really? Oh, my. Okay. Very interesting. So so is she also an LB finisher then, I guess? Pretty much. Um, same as that category, uh, or same same thing as Kurosame. She um, she has chain. She's got her old kit. She can chain for you know just basically irrelevant damage on off turns. And then when her SLB is ready, she does good finishing damage. Um, obviously, a whole lot less than Kurosame because New Vision's Awakening also yeah. lower lower modifiers. I think her LB at SLB is 230x. Kurosame is 300x baseline. So about like I don't know 60% of Kurosame's modifier or something all right. but um yeah it's she just really can't hold a candle to all the modern day units but um and we've had so be... many lately right like we've had a lot of units yeah. lately that really burst hard i mean not just the standard units you've seen in jp but also we've gotten sky on our end for instance so it's it's, it's exactly. really expanding um yeah interesting so for, yeah it's kind of, kind of a, a weird situation because she's an old unit that has not even been in the pool at all for the last two years. So anyone that has seven copies of her or something, that means they have them from the previous three years of the game. Yeah. They, they have not pulled her in the last two years. So this is like a three plus year veteran that also doesn't have the long list of units better than her. So like she, she's in this place that no one's really going to be using her unless they, they're either a diehard queen fan or they're doing the Chronicle Battle. Now, for the Chronicle Battle, she's going to be incredibly good. Yeah, do we have any diehard Queen fans in the chat? Like, either the band or the unit? I've, I've heard that uh, Kami Kiro is a big Queen fan, the um, the YouTuber. And then oh. also, also I've heard that Cyan Knight is a big Queen fan. He's a streamer. Really? But other than those, other than those two, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, we have a lot of band fans, at least, it seems. But, uh, okay. Uh, you know what I think is stupid? I actually think it's stupid that she's not more powerful because, so as you said, this is an old unit. She's so old, she hasn't even been in the pool, right? You can't, like, pull a queen. Um, So I guess, like, your only way of getting her, if you don't have her now, would be to spend a ton of UOCs to get her. Um, so in that case, she's actually fairly rare. Like, yes, it's going to be easier to get, you know, the amount of queen, more queens on the banner, but technically... You need four queens, right? Or actually, well, you need more. You would need five queens to get a uh, envy, right? Uh, and- well, assuming we do it the same way as JP, JP gave 75 shards for free. We know okay. we're getting 20, 25 shards from the login. There were also 50 shards from a quest. Um, so Global may add those to the raid milestones. In but then case, still four, right? Or two plus would, uh, Moogle. Yes, you would still need the original... STMR queen to even get the EX one from the shards. I mean, and getting four queens from the banner, isn't that like, okay, I, I'm not a math whiz, Dream is not here, but that's probably close to being just as rare as pulling fucking Kurosame on banner, honestly. Uh, it's a lot worse. The Neo, the rainbows only have a 1% rate, so you would have a four times higher chance of getting Kurosame as yeah. opposed to four queens. So that's fucking dumb. She should be stronger. <laughs> like, I think, but, but in general, I think actually NVAs should be stronger. I think there is no reasoning at all for them not actually being stronger. I, I don't see it. Uh, that JP does change directions on this design philosophy um, pretty soon. Oh, Let me really? real quick open my schedule. Yeah, they, they start making Neo Vision Awakening is actually good. Start I think starting with Titus. Oh, yeah. So, yeah the so unit I said was a crown upgrade unit that's actually an NVA. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're about a month and a half away from that. And then, then Galoof is really, really strong for Neo Vision Awakening. Um, okay. Barbara Russia is okay i guess she's not really that strong but yeah we actually do get a few new Vision awakenings that are really really strong cool uh but we but um there's also a few others that are not so great like citra coming out very soon is like oh man we, they did citra dirty again because like she was never good Ugh. 
I mean, she, she's kind of like Queen, where like she's usable. It's just that she's going to be so far behind all the other options. It's like, eh, what's the point? Yeah. Okay, but let's then move on to the second unit, uh, a unit I have so, so many copies of. It's actually NVA Machina, and original Machina was a breaker, so I'm thinking, okay, NVA Machina with SLB, does that mean he has sick-ass breaks? Uh, no, his breaks... Um, God I damn think, it! I think JP might have increased the potency, but his primary role is just SLB finisher. The only difference from Queen is that he's fire, Queen is thunder. They're otherwise oh. pretty much a copy. What a shame. I mean, he was a pure uh, breaker or, well, breaker slash support chainer, I guess. There was a time where I actually did decent damage with the chains too, actually. Um, but what a shame. I mean, I, because I, I saw that it says reduce defense in his uh, kit or in his SLB, I mean. So I was hoping, okay, maybe it's a 90% or something, but I guess not. Uh, I'm checking his JP page now. No, the strongest break he has is 80%. So 80%. he's still... And that's pretty outdated these days. All right, all right, okay, okay. Yeah, that's 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 low. That's bad. I mean, that's barely stronger than what he had before. He had seventy five before, so uh, shame, shame. I like Machina. He, he's such a huge douche in the original game, like the worst person in the world. But uh, for some reason, I've gotten so many of him, and I've used him for God knows how many trials back in the day when we had trials. I feel like every episode now, I'm going to have to start explaining what trials are to all new listeners that tune in, because, like, they have no idea. Well, we have Clash of Wills, which could kind of qualify as a trial. This Clash of Wills, yes. I'm actually enjoying this Clash of Wills a lot, Sinzar. How, how are you feeling about this one compared to the others? I, I'm mixed. I, really? I pers I pers no, oh, let me clarify. I love it. I am so glad it's challenging. The reason I say I'm mixed is I'm concerned that because of all the people freaking out about it, Gumi is going to backpedal back into the face roll day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I fully agree. Sure. I said the same thing on the episode that went live yesterday. Honestly, that, that's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of the people are going to freak and nobody's going to do this cow because I already see that like participation is low. And ba what I want to say is basically, people, you're proving them right that we don't deserve difficult content, challenging content and trials, okay? Like you're, you're telling them we need face roll bullshit. Okay, so don't. Yeah, so, so the, 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 thing, the problem is they added this really, really, really challenging content and they made it limited. This should have been a permanent trial. Then you could tell everyone freaking out about it. Who cares? Forget about it. Come back to it yeah. later. Yeah, yeah. But that, that's, not an, that's not an option. So they do kind of have some validity of complaining. It's so hard. I can't beat it. And in a week and a half, it's gone. But that, you know, hey, that, that's, that's a, a skewed complaint. expectation, though. It's a skewed expectation to expect you're always going to be able to beat everything. That means there's nothing in the game for you to grow towards. I know there's fear of missing out. I know it sucks to actually go in an, into an event and know you can't get the best rewards and the free NVs and stuff. But, I mean, it's also a weird mindset. So if your expectation is to be able to always beat everything, then what the fuck, right? Like then the game is going to be trivial. So sometimes you might expect to lose, is what I'm thinking. And it's not like the rewards are mind-numbingly overpowered that missing them is going to, you know, just ruin your FFB experience. I mean, people starting FFB in one week from now will not have a chance at these rewards. So I don't, know, I don't see the big deal. Honestly, I, I just think people are whiny just whine because I think this is a really fun event. I had so much fun just crafting a team of my own. Um, I did take a lot of inspiration from your team, Sinzar. Uh, but uh, I really tried to do something on my own. I even brought Kresnik. And, and I just, I love this. I want more of this. So Gumi, please give me more of this and more of Shard Dungeon. <laughs> yes, please bring both. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you did say, wait, didn't you say there was an upgrade to Ace's STMR? To Vermilion yes. Flag? The uh, uh, um, a whole bunch of the Type Zero uh, STMRs and gear. Yeah, they're upgrading Machina's really? STMR, Ace's STMR, Rem's STMR, um, some other stuff. I actually don't have the new. Oh wait, token. wait. So I see. Okay, um, so I see Wildcard FF Type Zero. That's OG's Ace's TMR. Sorry, no, that's OG Ace's STMR. Um, uh, no, that, no? That, that that that's 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 the TMR of the new Ace. Oh, okay. That's the TMR. What's the old Ace's STMR then? 
Uh, Black Trump. Oh, Black Trump. Yes, you're right. You're right. Okay, yeah, okay. So this is, and this gets to be quite competent, I feel. Like 188 magic, 20% magic, um, LB 50%, 500 flat magic, I guess, Ace. Uh, but... you, you, you're, you're, you're actually looking at the Chronicle upgrade. That That's different oh, from the oh, login Oh, okay, upgrade. okay, my bad. I was looking at the wrong page. Let me, let me navigate this, see if I do have it. Oh, it's yes, here it is. Mis yeah. Miscellaneous updates. Okay, so Excalibur got an attack bump. It's 180 now, I guess. Um, Wild card got a... Uh, yeah, that got a bump, but that's also upgradable through the Chronicles. So it's actually going to be a lot better. And what did Vermilion Flag get? Death Immunity. Oh, they shit. Death Immunity. That's actually pretty good. That is incredibly good because if, if you like, you know, try hard in the arena like I do and you're fighting at the <laughs> top ranks, you fight these turn one Vanille or turn one Kate Sis. And if you don't have a full team of death immunity, it, I mean, it's, you, don't, you don't lose. You just you, you have to go to turn two, which sounds, oh, just turn two. Well, when you use every single arena orb, going to turn two is a big deal. You of don't course do it is. It, it sounds like absolute pain. Jesus. Okay. But that's, yeah. this is good. So so this is a really good thing then. I mean, and I'm, many people might even have multiple uh, of these. So that's that's really nice, I guess. Um, okay, that's that's a really cool upgrade, actually. Uh, death immunity on Vermilion, because death immunity is fairly rare, right? Like, I can only think of Genji shield and um, uh, the safety bit, and then there is an... Isn't it Sayaka's STMR as well, or something? Um, there's a few other sources. There's okay. Genji armor. Genji armor gives fifty percent, so it's RNG. Okay. Uh, Sayak Sayaka's STMR, um, Umaro's STMR. Oh, now Umaro's we've got smart. the Neovision Kurosame STMR gives it as well. Oh, okay. And now we've now we've also got Vermilion Flag. So at this point, we've got lots of sources. Nice, nice. Well, at least one more source is actually pretty good. Nice. Um, I see Realms STMR gets a bit more magic. Uh, that's nice. Um, what's summon Eidolon? Oh, this is the, uh, so wait, their abilities get upgraded or what? Yes. Um, it looks like they, they remove the mana cost from this. So from now on, like if, if on turn one of uh, Kairos, for example, you can use this at zero mana. It, it normally costs 120 after the update. It's free. So, so it fills Evo nice. Gauge, but did, did Gage, did it always fill LB as well? Yes, yes. It, it, um, it fills it fills LB AOE 40 crystals and it fills the, the Esper gauge to maximum and it kills the caster. That's all staying the same. The difference is it's no longer going to cost any MP. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. And then they're buffing Katana Mastery. Oh my God, this is such a throwback. Remember when Katana Mastery was like the best materia in the game? Yeah, it's actually sort of nice now for bulk. It, it still gives the 50 attack, but now it gives defense and spirit as well. So that's decent. And it also and gives... Um, it gives magic for like Neovision's last well if you're using him still. It's yeah. good for him now. Yeah, and it seems like you can upgrade it. I guess that's through Chronicle Battle. Uh, uh, no, that's a, that's actually for units that have it enhanced innately. So, if you, so some units have that as an enhancement. They'll get better. Um, oh, but, okay. But but no, you you can't upgrade the TMR. Oh, okay. Too bad. Too bad. Okay, but it's it's nice. Freebies are always nice. Uh, there are some decent upgrades, um, and of course as as. As everyone expected, we are getting the Terra EX upgrades. Uh, that's that's what we're getting this week. Um, why does no. this say cloud though? Yeah, this is this is like I, I don't I don't know what Gumi's thinking with this. Like it's, I mean, on the one hand, I guess they're giving us something we were missing. On the other hand, it's just these two, and it is so entirely worthless. These units are so old, these enhancements will not change anything whatsoever. I mean, they are two NVAs, for Christ's sake, okay? They're giving the, an EX abilities to NVAs. Yeah, this is the kind of thing you bundle with a real update. Like, okay, it's time for Lord of the Seas Nicole's to get his EX2 abilities that are missing. We're right. going to do his, and we're going to toss on Cloud and Red into the mix as well. You don't do these as a standalone feature. Oh, it's Cloud and Red. But Nothing honestly, changes. what the fuck can they have for a reason to not give us the EX abilities of all units that have been lacking them so far? Like, they could just do a blip in the data and just release all of them, and it wouldn't literally change shit, right, Senzar? Like, it's not, there's something groundbreaking in there, right? As far as, like, making old units overpowered, not really. Probably the biggest EX upgrade would have been Cloud because of the, the unique Greatsword in Peril, and that but wait, didn't because, he get it? 
He did. He did. Yeah. I'm saying if that, that, that if that had come on time, then he, he he would have been kind of a big deal during his day and age with his upgrades. Right. You know, eight eight months ago, if he had gotten them when he should have. Uh, at this point, I can't think of any missing EX upgrades that are going to like totally throw the meta out of balance. Like it, it just they just won't. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know why they are not giving them. I mean, I honestly sometimes really try to think of like the Gumi perspective and also, of course, being a company that needs to make money. But for EX abilities, I cannot think of a single reason other than to make people fucking mad. Okay. Because, like, for instance, I just want the Terra upgrades because I like Terra as a unit. It won't change shit because, like, it really won't, but I would just like to have them. Exactly. Like, like Terra, Terra got some good ones. But for example, where are the EX2 abilities for Emperor? The, he got them in JP. They made him really, really good. Was he meta? Absolutely not. Was he usable for a big Emperor fan like me? Yes, he was. And he, he was usable. And you could use him, like in Dark Visions, he would pull his weight with the EX2 abilities. He was not going to top the damage charts. He doesn't come anywhere near Terra's burst. But he becomes usable. And they don't give us them. And fans of these units cannot use their favorites because they are so dead in the water outdated and yeah. they skip all the upgrades like it, it 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 no, really pisses me off i i agree honest. i i fully agree i feel your pain and your anger because i don't like i just don't understand why they're not letting me enjoy my old units and just you know there's literally no reason unless there's like this huge technical problem with giving out ex abilities like I I don't know. I am just I am just very disappointed. I would just like to use these units and have fun with them anyway. I don't know. It, it's just weird. But but I do feel that their design principle really is fuck old units. Like I know I'm being a bit harsh, but I really feel that's really what it is. They are not upgrading old units at all, and they don't care. It, it, it's true. Like like on, on, on this banner we're getting today. We were supposed to also get the seven star upgrades for Benevolent Beauty Rim and Wildcard Ace. Um, we can probably talk more about that during the Chronicle where it's going to actually matter. Okay. But Global, as usual, is skipping them. All right. That's that's so weird. And, and Red Ash is writing in the chat because it requires work and doesn't give profit. Well, I want to disagree with doesn't give profit, to be honest, because I think that, like, I mean, I think people are quitting because of this continued treatment. And I think that if you give people just a tiny bonus that doesn't reduce profit you're probably going to have more people not quitting instead but okay i digress let's actually talk about the chronicle i actually stumbled into it when i was talking about the uh, wild cards why are you saying um i guess ace and uh, rem would be important because you would have a better bonus team for the chronicle right well, not that. Well, there, there, there's two chronicles. There's the farming chronicle, which is okay. to upgrade the gear. Right. That one, that one's face roll. Take whatever you want. It doesn't even matter. But the gear you upgrade, as you pointed out earlier, was wild card aces TMR. Mm-hmm. And if you look, it gives exclusive bonuses to wild card ace, just like Terra. Only he gets these bonuses. Now, these were supposed to go hand in hand with his seven star upgrades. It made him a usable unit in today's game. But But we're not getting his upgrades. So they're giving us the Chronicle to upgrade his TMR, to give him flat magic, more LB damage, but they're not giving us his seven-star upgrades to bring him in line with today's meta. So, like, it is... What is the point? It is such a slap in the face that they're giving this and they're skipping the unit. And then let me... Did he get okay. NVA or seven star upgrades? No, he did not. He got seven star upgrades, kind of okay. like Zach and all that. You watch my JP video, like I cleared a sure with Zach using his seven star upgrades. Like okay. JP buffs these seven stars nowhere near the meta level, but to be good enough. Like Crown Prince knocked us. You know, remember everybody? Oh, he was so strong as a seven star. It was true. He was for the time, and we skipped that as well. But yeah. Ace and Rem got up seven star upgrades, and they made them better. Not meta, far behind the meta, but they were usable on content. Whereas currently at, at seven star, they're just not. They're really yeah. not. Yeah, no, this is infuriating to be honest. This, this is weird, and and I don't can't like. So you said there are two chronicles. We're not getting the second one. So is there a chance that we're actually getting like a, a well, no, two no, no, weeks no, no, or no, double no. event thing or something? No, 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 no. We are getting the second chronicle. The reason I said is different because the second chronicle is the one kind of like Valley Garmanda. You go oh. in, clear it once, and you're done. But this one is locked to Final Fantasy Zero units only. Oh, now, let God. that sink in for a minute. There's like three. 
the two Neo Visions awakens that most people aren't going to have because they're so ancient they're not even in the pool anymore, and then the brand new Kurosame, which most people aren't going to pull for. So the only options were like the upgraded seven star Rem and Ace. You would use them to DPS this guy. And now Global can't even do that. So what is Global going to do against this if he didn't pull for yeah, Kurosami? I mean, can we even fucking fill a party with Type 0 units like in Wait. GL? Or I mean, with relevant units, right? Because like, okay, let's say you pull Kurosami. Okay, let's say you do that because you're a crazy Kurosami fan. You get, you all, you also have Queen Machina. Okay, that's three units. Who the fuck else are you putting in your party? Like, Well, to, to be fair, Kurosami by himself can solo carry this. You would bring like Queen and Machina. You would use Summon Eidolon to kill them to fill Kurosami's LB. Oh, you would okay. do the, the, the base, the regular non SOB LB. Turn two, you do it again, the boss is dead. Like, Kurosame can very easily carry this. Okay, fight. so, he, so he, I guess he, it's he, just he, us plebs. We're screwed. Yeah, for those of us that don't pull Kurosame and don't have an EX3 Machina or Queen, keep that in mind. That has to be EX3 to do all the missions because you have to kill by turn three, which means you only can SOB on turn three. If you have EX3. Oh, so, okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can like, so, so I guess you can try to pump your LB every turn, but you still need that big burst on turn three if you have the EX3. I honestly well, no, think no. I might have it for Machina. I don't think I have it for Queen. No, it, it won't work. It won't work that oh. way because the, the old LB, the non-SOB limit burst of Queen and Machina is not upgraded. It still has like a, like a six modifier. Oh God. Yeah, so that, it's completely, it's completely and utterly. So I guess place. I'm chaining then up until that turn, but the chaining is of course yeah. also much, much lower. So oh it's lord, ter- it's terrible. Yes. Wow, terrible. that's that's actually not great. I I okay for the life of me, I do not understand why this happened. I I just this is just dumb. Okay, I just yeah. don't know. This is and this is I, yeah. I, just to clarify, the people don't jump on me later. Like if we did get Ace and Rems upgrades like they're not strong enough to carry the fight like by all means they are not going to carry the fight for you but they would help they would help you get there i mean you might at least be able to you know build a party of units where you can actually i don't know somehow break through this turn three limit right yes Oh. And, and then also just, just to clarify as well, the turn three is only for the cosmetic badge. The turn five is the, the crystal. Okay, okay. Well, okay. Still, I just realized I am also an idiot because I have sold all my queens for, I think I have two queen STMRs. I've just sold them for trust coins. So I literally have one queen. I have oh a single God. queen, <laughs> five star queen. So I'm not getting any queen NVA. Fuck that. Okay, this is great. No, this is this is really great. You're killing me. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, I, I, okay. In my defense, I've stopped selling units for trust coins now that I know that they can be used in other things. Okay, but uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, let's see. So I, I am probably not gonna kill this in turn limit then, because I'm definitely not getting Krasame, and I am, um, yeah, and I obviously only have Machina. That's the only unit I have. So by turn five, probably not either. So let's see. Can, can you use friends for that? Like, could I use, like, a overpowered Grosame friend? Uh, no, it's just just five five of your own units. Oof. So oh, maybe also, I would want also, to create two, so like, okay, I can't create two EX3 machinas, though. I can't do that. Okay. You can. You can. If you have enough, you No, can. no, I don't. I don't. I have enough for one. I, I don't have for two. Um, okay. But, yeah, but uh, these Chronicle Battles uh, do not limit dupes. You can bring dupes if you really okay. want to. Uh, and j- just just as a little like you know comedy thing, um, the boss at the end of turn three jumps. So on turn four, in turn four, you can't even damage the boss. <laughs> wow. Okay. So you're just waiting until well, you're bursting on turn three, and then hopefully, yeah. Okay. That's well. Okay. But if I'm doing the five turn mission, if I had queen, I could go to like turn five, I guess, and then hopefully burst then. Yeah. Yes. The boss jumps at the end of turn three, so you can hit him on turn three. But in turn four, he's in the air. Okay. And then he lands at the end of your turn four, and then on turn five, you can hit him again. Okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, this is this week is a doozy. A lot of a lot of some some anger. I, I'm definitely feeling some anger myself, um, but also some happiness for the shard dungeon at least. There's that. Um, so yeah, let's. I, I don't know. I I am not super happy about this direction where we're not getting old units. Let's let's see where it goes. To be honest, let's see where it goes. So do you have anything you want to add, Sinzar, or do you feel done? Uh, I guess I'll just point out that the raid is um, 
they're once again giving us unit locked killer materia, which is just pointless and dumb. But <laughs> it's not really Gumi's fault. It's a limb did this. It's it's Gumi's fault for not changing it. They're just blindly following along and not fixing this problem. But yeah, yeah we're once again getting killers locked to one unit, which is just the stupidest. I feel like really in general they're just low efforting through FFB right now. And I well well I although to give them credit, they still do fantastic GLEX designed units. So that they still do. But like Maybe everything no. from JP is just low effort, copy pasted, and then they just skip half of the units to don't translate them basically. Yeah, like I, I, I'm not entirely sure like what what the deal like is it just like a inner office rivalry between like Hiroki and Hirono? Like you don't touch my units, you only play your own game because they, they they they're just not fixing a lot of the problems from JP like the units, the content. They're well, just they used to as is. I know they used to for a long time. They would yeah. like JP JP would make a bad unit. It would come to Global, and Global would fix it. That was right. amazing. And they just stopped doing that. They stopped doing that. And I don't know why. It's it's a huge shame. It's a huge shame. Well, I think we've exhausted this week's content, at least. Uh, right? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the content, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for chilling, Sinzar. Uh, this, uh, l- let's see if this uh, week is doable for many people like what are people gonna feel when they can't do the valley like if they can't do the chronicle battle if they were pissed about cow like what's gonna happen if they can't do the chronicle battle that's gonna be i mean just spoiler i personally can't either at least not in three turns i can do it in five turns but i I don't have ex3 queen or machina so i can't do it in three turns either yeah oh okay let's see all right thanks everyone for chilling later